Ready or not, a mystery thriller with a family of crazy people that, you know, when you come into the family, you gotta be in some weird game of whatever the games are that they're playing. They picked hide and seek, so ready or not, here they come with this crazy family uh, murderers and stuff like that. Hey, what the heck? From the people who brought you the Devil's Do, Devil's Do, whatever the heck, the two guys that made that movie, and they worked on movies before, and I'm sure they're gonna work on movies in the future. Uh, and they like the creepy haunter movie type of genre, you know, jump scares and murder and things like that. That's what they're into. So this is their newest project with actresses and actors that you've seen before. Uh, that one Brody guy. And, and you'll see him again in the future because, you know, the one chick, at least the, the main actress is going to be in that uh, the Bill and Ted Face the Music movie, which at least that's what she it says on her uh, IMDb and things like that. Either way, so what is this movie make me think when I see the trailer for it. It makes me think, man, some of those deaths could have just been left for the movie. I don't know how many people were getting killed in this movie, uh, which is most likely the entire family except for the, the fiancé and the, the, the main female, uh, because it seems that the fiancé, he, um, he's like, yeah, sorry about like how my family is, and she's all like, they're trying to murder me, uh, and he's like, yeah, it's part of the game, hide, I, I love you, and I, I should have warned you, and maybe we could have just ran away, and I had to go with this family tradition, or whatever the hell stupid thing is going on with this movie, but, man, they really do throw out some of those kills early in the in the trailer for you, uh, I guess that's what it is for a Red Band trailer, when you want to see blood, guts, and cursing in a trailer, you get, uh, I guess, a couple of the kills from the horror movie that you are going to see, uh, which... I don't know. I don't really feel it's necessary to show murders that, you know, maybe one, like, oh yeah, there's going to be some, like, innocent bystanders that get killed in this movie. But no, when you when you knock out, like, a gardener and two house uh, people and it looked like a cousin, I don't know. You just don't got to give me that information. Yeah, people are going to get killed and they're not just going to get hunted down and killed on purpose. There's going to be some accidents and things like that. Not needed to be seen in the trailer, at least. Gosh, my, my biggest thing with trailers nowadays is really, I think that's everybody's things with trailers nowadays is that they just give away too much information just maybe a little tad bit too much you gotta just leave it all for the movie give me those jump like ah shit oh that arrow she didn't know that to touch that tr the trigger and that lady walked in the room at the wrong time you don't need that in the the, the trailer you need that in the movie because then in the movie it's a great scene it's an exciting scene maybe it's like a little more like oh my god like but it, it, you lose all that type of stuff when you throw it into the trailers. So, the trailer, does it give away too much information for the movie? I don't think so. I think it's gonna, there's gonna be some little twists probably to the movie. Uh, it, 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 the feeling of this uh, Ready or Not movie kind of gives me... I, was that a movie Hide and Seek, I think, was one? Or was that some other movie where the girl actually was like a survivalist and she, the whole family's getting killed and it was all the her fiancé, it was her fiancé or boyfriend or husband's uh idea to kill everybody so he could get money or whatever and i don't know i i, I think that was a hide and seek the movie was called hide and seek or something like that uh but either way this is just a interesting i get the, the premise for the movie is interesting um i want to see how they make it that it's like a necessary thing because as i said how a new person comes to the family they play these games and they kill you they try and kill you how do you get a big extended family like that to then have this large group of people badly kill, try hunting down a person to kill them? I don't know. But we'll see that in the movie, I guess. I don't know. Because honestly, even though the trailer is not the best trailer, I kind of want to see this movie. I kind of want to see it. I kind of see how it plays out and what happens. And so you kind of got me with the trailer. You kind of got me going. Interested. But it could have been a better trailer. Uh, so yeah. What do you guys think about the trailer? What do you think about this movie? Do you think you're going to end up seeing it? If you don't care, then fine. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, but, hey, if you could slap a like on the video, uh, subscribe, all that crap. You know, make yourself an account and do all that. Thing. But if not, if not, it doesn't matter. Because all that really matters is that you make sure that you have yourself a great day.